गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम I welcome you all to this training session of ACC online, and I am uh, Dr. Yeah. Tripathi. And today we have with us uh, Mr. Chetan Singh Gill, who is head Pan India of ACC online. Uh, he'll discuss regarding uh, how we are supposed to use as well as to train you with respect to ACC online. Uh, kindly mute your uh, devices, and uh, I wish you would actively participate in this session. and uh, yeah and there's one more announcement to be made uh, please follow the session carefully and finally we have some giveaways that uh, i think mr chetan singh will decide and he would ask you certain questions and somebody he would choose and if you answer correctly you will have something interesting i hope it is interesting okay nice uh, then uh, over to mr chetan singh thank you so much ma'am uh, good morning everyone i hope you can see me and uh, you can hear me clearly so yes sir good morning sir good morning ma'am and good morning, uh, good morning everyone good morning sir good morning sir good morning that was a very good morning <laughs> like a lot of people uh, you know i think people are really charged up so i'm sorry there's a bit of dark over here because uh, just right now my uh, electricity has just gone off so one of my lamp has just gone off so in probably in some time you will see my face lit up probably in 5 or 10 minutes so i'm waiting for my light to start functioning but in the meantime uh, first thing first yes we are here to we are here gathered to uh, talk about scc online but uh, we will also be talking about why legal research is important though i am from scc online but i would never ever say that or oh, use only scc online you know i think it's very important for us to learn all the softwares and then uh, you know choose one as your favorite software and the you know uh, and in case something is not been found in that particular software then you might go for the other softwares but one software is not good enough i'm saying it again now purpose of today's session is to familiarize you with the features the advantages that scc online brings on board so that you can uh, minimize your time of research and get a effective research uh, the principle that we uh, when i say we i mean scc online uh, is standing on is uh, authenticity accuracy and reliability so these are three main pillars of scc online on which this entire company is running so accuracy part is known for known by uh, known to everyone because it's been seven uh, seven decades 70 plus years now that we've been uh, in this profession and uh, 14 state judiciaries are already using uh, scc online as an official research tool which i what i mean to say is 14 state judicial officers are using it several high courts are using it scc online and obviously supreme court of india as well reliability because uh, head notes that we've been making we've been making not from past 2 3 4 years but from you know again the same uh, decade from 1969 we started with scc publishing and uh, since then we've been making head notes and head notes have just gotten better if not uh, you know if not the best but just just got better from what we had earlier it just got better and better so we have our own benchmark that we put in on on our uh, quality too and then we will start evaluating on that basis so first thing for and first and foremost uh, i would like to know from the audience uh, and you can use a chat uh, chat option to uh, to answer this uh, question why are we here what is the purpose of attending this session so you can uh, mention in the chat that is it that uh, some would say that i want to see the advanced uh, features i want to learn the advanced features some would say that i want to see the basics some would say i want to see you know how uh, how to figure out a judgment is overruled or not or something else so i just want to know so that we can bridge that gap because if i start talking because i can take a session for 8 hours and we have done that earlier as well the only thing the only thing that uh, i would like to ask you guys beforehand is because i will then choose that what is what has been asked for and what should i deliver so can i have people you know commenting in the chat 
and letting me know what they want. I hope the chat is open and uh, people can comment. Let me just move my camera a bit so that at least by the time the light doesn't come, I can you can see me from the other angle. Yeah, this should be perfect. So I thought I thought I was talking to the future advocates who wish to you know just get the opportunity and jump onto it. I'm not getting any comment. So there's nothing that we're expecting. OK, so to make our legal research easier and more interesting, I. Uh, we are students and freshers, so something that can make us get more interesting. Oh, that's very, very important. Uh, I don't know what's the name. Uh, Kirun. And then uh, we have from uh, another person how to know the judgment is overruled or not. That's a very, very important. Uh, <laughs> I'm slow in typing. See, as an advocate, you don't have to worry about the typing bit because I think you have to talk fast. So, you know, always be an opportunist. Uh, Kiran, Kiran, we're always an opportunist when you know what is not in your favor. Don't try to exercise it. So when you know that <clears throat> typing is slow, you know, you're slow in typing, then use the alternative. The alternative is unmute yourself, ask the question or give the question, okay? So good legal research. OK, what what do you mean by good legal research? To understand the judicial system as whole and understand the legal system. OK, so we'll talk about that as well. I'll give you um, when you're talking about a judicial system, I'll take you back in the British era as well. So I'll take you from there and bringing you from the British era, how things were and now how it is. And not only that, but also talking about some few international uh, judicial as well. Uh, we like to know uh, about your journey in legal field. Oh, that is not the session. This is not the session for that. <laughs> Just to give you a, a heads up, I've been uh, doing legal research uh, from past nine years now. Um, so it's been, it's been a really long journey. And uh, even after doing research for nine years, I think I still can't say that I know it all. I still can't say that, uh, oh, you give me a search. I will do it in five minutes. No. Uh, yesterday I was talking to a uh, competition commission of India uh, senior members and uh, uh, they had they gave me some query. I will I will take that query today in that in our today's example in our session and uh, that query took me at least 10 15 minutes to it to just to form it to get the right words in place. So there is no way you can say that oh you know it's I know it all. Authenticity on the, uh, of the facts of the cases we search. Absolutely, I'll give you that, uh, Neil Jen. And to understand of research and how to do good research and get good, valid, and accurate point. So I think uh, one thing I really, really like about in this conversation that we are having is everyone, and I think most of you are talking about authenticity, you know, reliability part. You're talking about effective research. How can we rely on? Is it a good, uh, valid, accurate points or not? So I think. Uh, one thing that I don't have to talk about to tell you the uh, tell you this one thing uh, that you already know of that accuracy and you know getting the facts right facts uh, before the court is very very important and we cannot really compromise on that. So one of the most peculiar case, if you could share uh, share with us, sir. sure, I will be sharing a lot of uh, you know important judgments that you would be uh, must have might have heard of or you heard of, but you were too. You know, scared to you know read the judgment because the judgment might be of 100 pages, 200, 700 pages, and you were like, I don't have my that much of time. I don't have that much of time to you know read that judgment. So I'll give you a, another way, a way out to spend less time but get the full judgment in one just. So I think we have got an idea of what uh, what we are talking about over here, what is expected out of here. So let me just quickly get going. Just a minute. Let me share my screen. Okay, let me 
share my screen. Uh, Mr. Subhash, I believe uh, I'm. I don't have the right to share my screen. I have the whiteboard and the the PPT option, but I don't have the sharing of the screen. Or uh, uh, I think option given to me right now. Could we check? Subhash, sir, can you hear me? I think wait a sec, let me check. It might be something at my end. I think I have to rejoin this meeting just a minute. OK, now I can do that. Got the rights. So here we are. So could anyone confirm that uh, you can see my screen? Yes, sir, we can see. Yes, sir, we can see. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir, it's visible. Yes, sir, it's visible. Yeah. Thank you. So first thing first, uh, before we jump into it of uh, what is SCC online, what is legal research, uh, I will take you a step back and talk about how to ask, how to reach to SCC online because now you're not in the university and uh, you know there are uh, there there will be a challenge to access SCC online as a software. So how can you access SCC online? We'll talk about that first. So we'll be sending out an email to you guys by today evening or at max by tomorrow morning, and you should expect an email coming from this email address, my loft. OK, do not delete this email or probably just check in your spam uh, or your junk email because the extension of this particular email address is Microsoft uh, myloft.xyz. So a lot of people think that, oh, this is uh, some spam email XYZ extension, so you might want to ignore it. Don't do that. OK, so just make uh, make sure that you have XYZ, uh, you know, search for this. And once you open that email, you will get this uh, sort of email. Your name would be here. And some other content would be written over here. You just have to click on set password. Now this is for the remote access. This is not, uh, you know, for SCC online. It's to reach to SCC online. So it's a remote access. So you click on set password. And uh, one thing that is very uh, important over here is that it will open. It should only be open on Google Chrome. So let me open it up. So I think I might be logged in already, so let me just quickly log out. Yeah, I'm logged in, so I'm going to log out. So let's start from the top. So once you come over here, you'll receive this screen at the first. Once you click on set password, you'll receive this screen. By default, when you say select your institute, you have to select SCC. OK, SCC online and click on continue. Over here, the password is already mentioned over here. In your case, the password would be blank. You would have the ID over here, which is your email address by default keyed in over here. You set your password and you click on sign in. After signing in, there'll be a small uh, message which will come on the screen, which is not coming right now because I've already done that. Uh, they would say about adding a Google Chrome extension, adding a MyLoft Google Chrome extension. So you have to add, click on add extension. It will get added. And then you come to e-resources. In e-resources, you come to database. And you'll have the directory of open journals. This is something complimentary that we are giving to you. So uh, it's we're not paying anything for it. So it is available on, uh, on, uh, on the internet for free, of course. So we thought of bringing it for you as well. And then you have SEC. And there's another thing that we have apart from these two, that is library recommends. Now library recommends is, if I click on this, there's a Cambridge communication app. So anyone of you who wishes to upskill your uh, you know, language skills can download this application through this uh, thing. So when you download through this, it will be valid. It's, though it's a paid application, but uh, if you go going with this, it will be valid for 
end of this month. And if there is an extension, which, which, is, which is very, very likely to happen, you'll also get uh, extended for this. The only reason I'm saying this, uh, that this is an app is, or I'm even talking about this app is, because as a pro, as a professionals, as a, like uh, someone who say that I can't type very, uh, you know, very fast on the chat. There must be a lot of people, you know, who would have this, who have a constraint about talking in English that, you know, I can't talk very fluently in English. I have this accent or, you know, I'm not that good with the language. So this communication, uh, this Cambridge communication uh, app is a, mm, is a module based and thus and the bot base bot i mean means say robots so it's a self paced module you talk to it it'll give you feedback and you can just simply go through it so if you feel like doing it just go through it download it i personally have downloaded made it uh, download to my all my team member and interns that i have in my company and they're doing it uh, personally i liked it so in case if it suits you please be my guest do it going to scc online once you click on scc online through that portal it will say login and in login, you'll have two options, user login and IP login. User login is not meant for you. You just click on IP login, OK? And you click on and you uh, type in your ID and password. Considering that this will be the first time you'll be going to SSC online through my loft. So your ID would not be in the, in the database. So you have to, everyone who's sitting in the session, have to and have to go through this process of registering themselves. So you have to click on register here. You Put in your login ID, whatever is your login ID is, right? And uh, like this is my login ID. And I can give it my name over here and register login. Uh, my ID is already logged in, so it's not going to give me that. But after this screen, it takes me to another screen which says, uh, please enter the passing year. So you can put in the passing year uh, over there, which helps the university after you graduate that we can take off those IDs from the database. Otherwise, the IDs, IDs will just get keep getting multiplied. And for the professors, you can simply skip it. Now, that's a login process, so I'm sure uh, we have uh, understood the entire process of my loft and coming till here. Now, before we get into this uh, software, one thing is very, very important is. OK, finally, my light is back, so I'm going to get back to my. Uh, my original position. OK. So. I was talking about what is more important. The important part is that you can make a, a beautiful interface which has a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, user, uh, you know, uh, user experience. You type one thing, it gives you results, you know, and you, you know, it has give you good graphical representations, a lot of graphs, a lot of charts. I think as a legal professional, it is very important for us not to get mesmerized with these charts and everything. Because that's very easy to do. What we should be looking at, and I'm and I'm being very, very candid right now, because uh, I think all of us who are sitting on this uh, session, we have a high responsibility towards society. And if we don't take our job very seriously, it's going to come back to us anyway. Either to us or to our family. The reason uh, a lot of times people, uh, you know, judges ask me that uh, I, I train a lot of judges from state level, uh, from district level to uh, high court level and Supreme Court level as well. And uh, a lot of times, you know, high court judges uh, say that, you know, you know, because we do a lot of, uh, you know, community work uh, and we do a lot of uh, free trainings for a lot of people. And they say that, why don't you charge for your trainings? You spend like three, four hours on training. So I have a small thing, and I think maybe you can uh, resonate with that. Uh, my work that uh, when showing uh, or teaching uh, legal research to anyone, it will, it helps the uh, the advocates in doing a better research. That means they will have a you know a filtered judgments and a better argument in the court which will obviously you know, reduce the time of uh, the proceeding of the entire case. I train judges so that they also can help the advocates. If the advocates are not equipped with all these softwares, they are so they can help the they can guide the court, their court that how thing needs to be done and they don't get misguided. That's a very important thing. So 
I have 0.00001% probably contribution in making the judicial system more effective and the faster and speedy trials need uh, coming in place. So I think I'm good with that. Whereas with you guys, it's it's not zero point contribution. It's almost like more than 50% contribution that you guys have to make. So please take these things very, very seriously. And let me tell you one more thing. Very interesting factor. This is the only profession, only and only profession wherein uh, you know, you can go on your first day in the courtroom. You might get lucky. You get a you know a, a case on the first day itself, and you go to the courtroom, and the first case that you're uh, fighting, uh, you know, for the for client, the other counsel is some stalwart like Hari Salve, you know, couple simple and all stuff. Is it is it next to impossible? Not really. Not really. Maybe the person that came to you couldn't really, uh, you know, uh, was uh, like a small guy, but he has put it in his hands or he has, you know, crossed the line with someone big shot. The best part of our profession, you know, continuation to this is that no one would say that, oh, you know, you just came out of college. You, sh you cannot fight this case. It will be about your knowledge. It will be about your wisdom. It will be about your applicability of the concepts which will decide the case. See, I uh, we say that uh, people in white coat and black coat cannot say I know it all. You know, I mean to say doctors and lawyers, you know, it's a it's a it's a living organism uh, of, uh, you know, when you say law or medical, you cannot say that, oh, I learned it and now I don't have to go back to it. You have to read every damn day. Every day you have to read about it. So now coming to the point in the doctors, if you're a doctor on the first day when you are, uh, you know, uh, when you join the uh, the, uh, the college, they're not going to give you a, you know, high five surgery and say that you lead the you lead the surgery. They'll always say that, you know, shadow me. So I think uh, that brings a lot of uh, responsibility and also a lot of excitement in our uh, in our uh, profession. I'll give you one more. Uh, Thing, a food for thought before we start into it, because I like I said, why should we do legal research? This is what I'm telling you. Why should we do legal research? There are approximately 15 lakh advocates and in uh, in India, okay, which are registered in bars, and uh, you will be going out. You must be thinking that you have a competition with 15 lakh. Yes, you have a direct competition with those 15 lakh advocates. Uh, not denying that. However, take a step back. There are 1500 approved law colleges in India as per UGC. OK, it might be 1600 now, but last I checked was 1500 something. Now, in 1500, there are a few colleges which uh, take the intake uh, close to 60, 70, like NLUs. There are a few colleges which takes the intake around 200. There are a few colleges which are also taking 600 as a as an intake number of students who join the university or a college. Now let's do a simple maths, OK? You don't have to give me the number. I'll give you all the numbers because this is, uh, uh, you know, it'll be easier. Let me make it easy for you, OK? 1500, <laughs> read 1500 because a lot of people get, uh, you know, confused with 1500 multiplication. Let's say 1000 colleges, OK? And uh, let's take an average. Some people have 600, some people have 200. Uh, let's take. 150, OK? So 150 being the average. So 150 students on average, every university, multiply by multiply by 1,000 colleges. How much you get after five years or three years? 1 lakh, 1.5 lakhs every five years. Perfect. I, I, the reason I stopped asking this question is, when I used to go out and I used to give this uh, equation to a lot of people, they used to say 15,000. I like, OK. So I, was, I, I stopped doing it because, you know, some people just can't do simple multiplication. But 1.5 lakh. Now this out of out of 1.5 lakh, there will be some students who love their college or university so much that they want to stay another year. So let's say uh, 1.2 lakh uh, graduates, 30,000 want to stay back and, you know, use the campus or the mess for one more year. Or they love the hostel for whatever reasons. 
Now, one lakh twenty thousand. So, one lakh twenty thousand are would be the guys who will be as hungry as hungry as you are. There will be people, and I'm, I can I can assure you, people who are on this call, there will be people who will say that I will do my first case as pro on a pro bono basis because I want to show my you know skill set to everyone. So, I will do the do the first case of pro bono. You can't fight with pro bono. If you come to me, God forbid, I I go to a court, but If you come to me and say that I'm going to fight your case for free of cost, and the other person says I'm going to take one thousand rupees, I'm saying no, free is good. Why would I? Why would I pay anything to you? I'm getting something for free, so you can't compete with that. However, there's one more important thing in the same thing. If you think your price is worth ten thousand rupees per hearing or one lakh rupees per hearing, stick to that. Do not get you know. Influenced by other people, oh, they are doing for free. They're doing for this thousand, this thousand. But also, do not make this mistake of going out of the college and say that I will charge minimum to minimum four lakh rupees for one case. Build your reputation. I think uh, you are smart. You are are grown up guys. You are smart. You are doing law. I'm assuming you are all smart, right? So, this is something that you should do. And now, once you get into the profession, that's when. the entire thing will change and that's when i come into picture for 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 a moment now effective research will take you a pedest on a different pedestal because when you enter the court judges don't judge the case they also judge you they judge you in terms of that your previous case that this guy does the research good research or not this guy give a good argument or not or this guy you know cites always every time he cites the oral judgment so over the over the period of time you will have a judge would have a image of you that's the reason why when uh, you know when uh, 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 nariman sir used to enter the you know under the court room or uh, you know hari sal for that matter and all these uh, stalwart uh, ram jethmalani sir uh, when he used to when he used to enter the court room you know the judge used to give him a nod like this while sitting on the dais i have seen it for ram jethmalani sir when he used to enter the court room and there a lot of not all the judges but some of the judges used to give them a nod not because you know he was he had a you know a range rover standing outside he, he came in rolls royce or something no because of his knowledge so that is very very important in this okay now let's understand what we have with ssc online first and the foremost is the data coverage so let's click on this data coverage and in data coverage is a web edition like i said user interface is very important or very easy to make let's talk about the data now i think someone's mic is uh, unmuted uh, could you please uh, mute your mic there's a very tiny tiny uh, uh, you know noise coming i'm i'm wearing a headset so it's it's very very peculiar for me okay so thank you so much and uh, now moving to the next one it says supreme court of india so all the supreme court of india judgments are available then you have federal court and privy council now federal court and privy council are before independent judgments now privy council was the apex court before independence i'm sure a lot of you know about it like now we have supreme court so apex court was before independence was not supreme court but privy council and privy council used to be in uk still in uk and it was not only for india it was for all the colonies that they are still there are still countries which are under the british rule on the lease like one of uh, is bahamas if you open the bahamas court you know website you'll still feel that they have the courts but the apex court is still privy council the reason i'm telling you is because this privy council that we are talking about we are talk talking about all the privy council judgments of all the all the you know colonies that the british had it's only and only for indian judgments privy council uh was effective from 1836 till 1949 very very effective you know very very uh, you know dominant and uh, in the year 1949 december it was abolished by an act privy council abolishment act and then the second in command was federal court so though federal court was there since 1939 but it actually it actual you know a uh, role was only and only for december i think 15th onwards till 26th of january till then we got the supreme court of india so only for those 40 45 days the federal court was the apex court 
Now, if you see this, we have uh, Buddha's Indian appeal, which is from 1836 till 19, uh, 1872, and the other one from Indian appeals from 1949. These judgments are. Someone asked me that can we talk about the peculiar cases? Can we talk about the landmark judgments? Can we talk about the important judgments? My friends, Privy Council judgments till now, not even one judgment has been overruled. Okay, not even one judgment has been overruled from Privy Council uh, period. That's the the beauty of those judgments. And a lot of people think that oh, they were only Britishers who used to sit on the dais as lords. No, there are people from uh, of Indian origin. Who were sitting at sitting as the justices in the high court level? Uh, I can't recall if anyone was at the Privy Council level, but they were judges of Indian origin sitting in the higher courts at the British area as well. So that is that. Then we have all the high courts. We have few district court judgments, landmark judgments. Then historical courts. Now, what are historical courts? We have courts again. So we have Privy Council, then the provincial type uh, level courts. Ajmer, Goa, Kutch, Lahore, Lower Burma, Upper Burma, Pepsu. Now these are all the older names of the provinces. Like Pepsu, if you talk about Pepsu, was in uh, Paks, uh, Punjab, Haryana, Himachal. That was combined together and that's Pepsu area. So Peshawar, you all know about Rangoon. We heard about it. Sindh. All these are older names of these uh, places. So these judgments are available over here. Historical judgments. Then you have tribunals. All the tribunals are available over here. Aptel, TDSAT, you know, ISAT, uh, CCI, all that you can over here that you can expect uh, available right over here, and you can see their judgments. Statutory, we have central acts, state acts, rules, regulations, circulars, notification, instruction, area-wise. I'll show it to you. What do you mean by area-wise? Bills in parliaments, constitutional orders. Now, bills in parliament, I mean to say, as introduced in one uh, one of the house or as passed by one of the houses. It will not give you the real time debate that is happening in the parliament. OK, because that is something that is still happening, so you cannot cite it because it still, you know, might fall on, on either of the side. Then secondary material, the material second material means that uh, material which supports the primary material, the primary law that is acts and judgments. So the Constitutional assembly debates. Which is the backbone of the Constitution of India as we know it. OK, and then we have reports of commission and committees, a lot of committees, a lot of analysis. Uh, uh, there, there, there are committees that, that are there which do a lot of analysis and everything. Basis on which the acts, uh, the reforms come into place, basis of which, you know, a lot of treaties are being uh, signed, basis of which a lot of judgments are also been, you know, they, they are been decided. And then we have legal articles from 35 Indian journals and 15 international journals. And then we have your treaties, bilateral and multilateral. Historical trials, some landmark judgments of the from the past. Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Mahaja Nand Kumar, Sir Roger Casement case. All these three cases are not the final verdict. This is actually the transcript of the entire case. What happened in the first hearing, what will happen in the second hearing and so on and so forth and going with the final verdict. And then that comes in, brings me to the this one that's policy documents. Policies pertaining to different areas. Is stacked under their name, so let, let's suppose if I want to see FDI, so all the policies which are related to FDI will come in one place. You don't have to look for it. Then foreign material, there are uh, 24 international courts, which includes West Africa, South Africa, Canada, US, UK, uh, all the SAR countries, all the neighboring countries. International material will include the international courts. The courts which deals with either the a common uh, you know issue of the society at a at an international level like human rights and all, and then there will be uh, you know courts which takes care of the cases between two countries. If there's some dispute, you know if I, if India Pakistan has some dispute, which is like every every now and then happens. Now India cannot cannot apply its laws on on Pakistan, and Pakistan can't do the same. So we have our own. Uh, so like if you've read the you know Article 141 of Constitution of India, it clearly says that the law, uh, you know, the, uh, the law declared by the Supreme Court of India is binding on the all the courts within the territory of India. So within the territory of India, beyond that, it doesn't have any jurisdiction. 
So there will be if there's some dispute, the someone would have to be the mediator. And that's when these like International Court of Justice, I'm sure you heard about this earlier as well. So they come, they jump into the picture. OK, and then you have high and online, which is a different package, uh, which we will not talk today. Now let's get into the software. Let's log in. And. Let me check if my team member is here. Mr. Raina, are you here? Mr. Rajesh Raina, are you on this session or not? OK, so maybe uh, Mr. Raina is not on this session. No worries. Now moving to this one. Now see this, it says. Uh, there's three different color tiles. One is the blue color tiles. Other one is the red color tiles, and then you have a more of a charcoal gray. I'm going to keep the session uh, basic. Because uh, considering that this is the first time you're having the session. We got. Very, very simple uh, so that uh, there was because there was one query in the starting the question that uh, someone shared with me when I asked that. How can we make this uh, interesting for us? So I'm going to keep it from the interesting level today and also going to tell them that how the research is going on. But then once the interest, the interest is built up, once you know, OK, this is a, a simple thing that OK, I can do these things. The next session that I can propose would be in next month. Once everyone has and had a hands on on this and then we'll talk about the small, small minutes of this session. OK, so let me start with this. So the blue color tiles talks about. The you know the research wherein you would have to key in something you have to type in something to get the results. So you have to give in order to get something. So word you put a word. You put a citation, you put a section number, or you put a party name. That's when you get the results. The other one that's a red color tile is a browse one, wherein you don't know what you're looking for, or rather, you know, I think let me put it in a better way. You just want to, you know, upscale yourself. You want to learn something new. So then you go to this. This is like an actual library, but in a digital format. Let me give you an idea of it. Let's say I go to browse credit topics. You don't have to type anything over here. Now, browse credit topics have various main main topics. Now, let's say public law. OK, now in public law, this is a main heading or the main topic. Under this, there might be subtopics as well. So let's see. So yes, there are advocates, animal law, armed forces, child law, and so on and so forth. Let's take this one. Uh, let's take child rights if I can get something. Yeah, child rights law. Now, what are the constitutional documents on child right law? So Article 21A talks about it because it's right to education, right? Provision of employment of children in factories that is again related to that. Article 39, which talks about certain principle of policy to be followed by the state. And the fourth one talking about provision of early childhood education to certain uh, to uh, children below the age of six years. So constitution all uh, talks about child rights in these four articles. So considering that we are all freshers right now, most of us are freshers and we don't know about we're learning right now. This will make a lot of sense. OK, then further we go into statutory law. What are the statutes? What are the acts which are uh, which are talking about the child right act? So there's so many acts which are talking about the same topic. But now if you notice this is not giving you the entire act. Unless until it's a child and adolescence labor act, then it's a full act. Obviously, it'll be there. Juvenile justice, there'll be full act. But let's see this one. It says uh, rule 3A. That says rule 10. So if I click on it, it's going to only and only open that particular order and rule for me. So I'm not, you know, reading the full CPC. I'm reading the points which are specifically related to this topic. Similarly, if you see Factories Act, crutches. Now, in factory wherein more than 30 women workers are ordinarily employed, they shall be provided and maintained a suitable room or rooms for the use of children at the age of six years for such women. Now, as a, if even if you want to write an article on this or if you want to do a research, this is, you know, giving information to you in one big packet. Say that, go. Read about it. 
okay so that is something that you can look for then uh, let's go further down let me just collapse this then rules and regulation what are the rules and regulation which are uh, you know which are governing this particular law that comes over here the bills which are things which are lined up in the in the in the parliament those are coming over here so you also know what is lined up what is the current situation but you also see what can be the future as well and treaties and conventions for the international understanding of what we have so ilos are available over here, a lot of ilos and that's we have over here. one thing which is missing in this one let me take another example let's uh, let's take uh, food alteration yeah so now if you see there are more feature there are more topics in this so let's say case law now on food adulteration and safety law if you do a search you might get so many results okay but over here the point is giving you the hand picked judgments which have made a change so i can call it the important judgment i would not like to call it a landmark judgment because a lot of people misunderstand the meaning of landmark okay so i will say an important judgment so these are important judgments as i click on it the full judgment will populate over here i can start reading about it and i'm good to go with my research i can save this i can email it to someone i can take a print out i can increase a text or something i can also send in as a you know a url to someone on whatsapp or i can do statute reference let's let's leave these two okay right now so that's how you can simply go with this now let's click on this one icon so you'll bring back to my main menu okay now going ahead similar thing uh, let's leave this one this is not important for right now i like i said i'll be choosing a very very smaller smaller things today i will not be talking about everything so let's skip this one let's get to this one draw judgment by code now a lot of you would thank me if you want to unmute your mic and say thank you i will be more than happy to take those thank yous because i remember that you know a lot of professors you know uh, i think everyone tells the students that you know you should read the judgments every day you should go to supreme court of india website read the judgments every day every, you know every uh, all the high court your principal high court and it is sometimes it is overwhelming it's so much of data that you could that come across to, uh, in in front of you that you cannot digest it and then you have to do you know the you know the date wise searching and then you have to click on it then it will open up and then you have to see that and then you come up to the same page and do it i'll make it simple for you you come over here say you want supreme court take supreme court from which era do you need this judgments 2020 2020 the current decade or the previous decades uh, anyone who is who has joined the session through a mobile phone and uh, i'm i'm assuming that you know this uh, screen will be too small for you if you have joined from the mobile phone you can do a zoom in on your phone itself so if i'm not doing a zoom in you can do it on zoom in and you will be able to see everything you know in in a magnified uh, in a magnified uh, manner so let's do this 2020 it is and october 16th of october and on 16th october these are the judgments which are available over here on 15th these are judgments as you click on any of this it will just simply populate over here uh due to the due to the, i think covid uh, 19 uh, situation uh, it's giving you 16 otherwise we always have for the previous date so you know because people are not uh, coming into office they are working from home so sending the judgments and the it person the it people you know uh, uploading judgments on the server so i think there is some delay but usually once once everything uh, falls in place you will see it for the next day for for the last day okay and date wise you can see it over here let's go further down and let's go to my this uh, this is one of my favorite searches uh, in browse browse acts and rules now what is browse acts and rules how does it help and what is it uh, uh, can consist of the central acts uh, state acts and notification everything is here that's being done let's go to central acts so the central acts which are used on a daily basis are mentioned over here remaining are alphabetically arranged now i'm sure everyone has gone through the contract act so i'll take contract act right now now what's going to happen in the contract act 
why I'm why even I'm going in the Bear Act? It's available online. It's available in the library. Universal is doing a very good job in publishing these things. Why do I need this? I'll tell you why you need this. Please scroll down. See, we we we're getting this. Uh, are we connected? I think there was some uh, loss of internet. Okay. Uh, could, you please, could, could please someone uh, confirm if my screen is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. It's visible. Yes, Thank sir. You. So when we were on this, it says white contract in blue box, acceptance offer again in blue box. Now, those of you who have gone through the contract act would, this is not the part of the Bear Act. It is something extra. Now let's see this. Uh, let's take something simpler. Uh, acceptance of offer, because I think everyone knows about it. So accept, acceptance of offer must be communicated or of constitute a binding contract and inter, an internal uh, noting does not constitute a communication. National Textile Corporation versus Mr. Jadav and 2008 case. Now what is this? This is a a brief from the judgment. This is a paragraph from the judgment talking about acceptance of offer. Now, if, if you're reading about this, if you're reading the, you know, the section three, an acceptance offer would obviously come into that uh, that as a part. You would like to see judgments on acceptance offer. You'll do a search. You will get so many judgments that you will be like wondering that which one is the important judgment. Again, in this, what we had done in the in uh, in curated topics that we were giving you curated uh, you know topic wise judgments statutes and everything this is the same thing that is happening over here so if you see this now rather than giving you so many judgments it's giving you only one important judgments on on acceptance offer if i click on this it'll open the judgment right over here so you read it you're good to go if you don't like this go back and you back to your uh, your entire bay right and this we have done for all central acts. You can do it. So at least rather than, you know, once. So my my purpose of sharing this to all the freshers right now is, and for the faculty members as well, when you're reading a new act and you just you just concentrate on the what is written in the act. That's the theory part. But we don't know. We always fail to you know look at the practical side of it, the how it was applied in the law, in the court. So this will build that bridge. You read about it. And then you get one judgment, which is the most important judgment on that point of law. And you read it and you have a good understanding. Both your corners are both your you know, uh, hands are equipped with the right knowledge theory as well as the practical side of it. And you can simply save the entire Bay Act the way it is right now onto your machine. So I'm not talking about uh, saving and uh, you know emailing because that's a very basic features. Uh, everyone knows about it. If, however, if there's any question, we can always answer it in the last. Now, <clears throat> now similar thing, articles are available over here. So you see all the articles. You know, if you say law review journals, you'll get all the uh, journals name over here. The best part of this is, though you can do a search on a particular topic of your choice on if you're looking for an article. But however, let's say I click on this one, I look at law journal. I pick up the, the law, the recent one, the recent volume. Look at this. It gives you the topics. Which you know sometimes we are not looking at. So let's say I'm talking about. Secondary copyright, OK. So secondary copyright infringement under the Indian Copyright Act 1957. S Z Amani, who is he? So if you take a cursor over here, uh, Mr. Abani is Associate Professor, Faculty of Law, Jami Mili Islamia of Delhi. So you know who the person is. Right, and you can read about it. So this is, you know, I always say this. There's a, there are three stages that anyone and everyone goes through it. Irrespective, you are a professor, irrespective, you are a resource person like me or your student. That is, I don't know, I don't know. I know I don't know and I know I know. You'll hear this uh, very often 
from my uh, from my mouth because this is the this decides that person would be successful or would be an uh, would be an average person because see uh, we only search on google on something that we know that we don't know but for something that we don't know that we don't know why would you even, why would that even come to your mind so browse is a step forward step towards the first stage i don't know i don't know you, you start reading about it you start reading the topic you start reading the you know the uh, the query topics and you get start getting information you cannot do research you cannot do a research on secondary copyright you know infringement under indian copyright act unless until you go and you start reading about the copyright acts and everything that's when you will be reading about it because that will be requirement but over here this is not requirement this is something you are gaining uh, knowledge because you are hungry for it so that's a that's a huge difference okay so do that over here and then secondary materials will give you information to um, you know uh, bills in parliament constitutional documents and other things so you can just click on these and you can just uh, simply go through it my recommendation to all the students over here is and i it's a it's my request okay don't concentrate on the constitution of india if you're in the first second year right now read the constitution of india but at the same time read the constitution assembly debates because this has this is divided into 12 volumes simple english it will give you information it will give you the backbone of the constitution of india why certain things were brought in what was the purpose what was the intent that thing is very very important for you to understand once you know the intent and then you read the constitution what is uh, is in front of you then you can make the head and tail out of it that what was actually is been talked so i'll give you one quick thing and then i'll move to the search part we got independence in the year 1947 right look at this the constitution assembly sat down on 9th of december 1946 uh, almost a year before there were 300 members from various parts of the, of india who joined them there were no whatsapp in back in those days so they can they could not create a for a facebook or a whatsapp group that you know oh you know, this is location please come please mark your attendance and oh i saw your your blue tick and all stuff they would not be talking about all those things right there was a telegram being posted and you know there was a lot of uh, you know back and forth i'm sure it would have been really really you know <clears throat> difficult for them i don't know how many of you can relate to it but i am a uh, I'm not that young, but I'm not that old as well. So I have seen the uh, era wherein we used to post, you know, and uh, you know, uh, we used to go to the uh, uh, the, uh, the nearby uh, post box, the red color post box, and we used to write uh, things. Or we used to sometimes, sometimes to uh, you know, send a uh, rocky. My sister used to send me rocky uh, from you know uh, some other country, and she used to send it to me. or i used to send something to my friend or something so we used to put it over there and drop it in that thing and then uh, the postman used to come open that small box there was just be a small gate at the bottom of that big uh, you know the big red color box and the you know used to take it out put it in this bag and take it and then used to think okay now he has taken it today you know and there used to be a small thing written over there that the next you know uh, they will take this uh, you know this post uh, tomorrow at this time so you know that okay you know you should put it before this time so that you want it on the same day it should be delivered let's suppose the postman is coming at 10 o'clock so you'll go and put it in the 9 o'clock at 9 o'clock over there so that it goes on the same day so it coming to the point that it was a, a cumbersome work look at this now they all sat down not only they sat down they reading the letter received from three player uh, three places america china and government of australia now what us is saying i'll not read the entire thing it read this one india has a great contribution to make to the peace to the peace stability and the culture advancement of mankind and your deliberations will be watched with deep interest and hope by freedom loving people throughout the entire world they are writing this to us on december 9th that means the world knew that 
we were supposed to get uh, independence. I'll give you one interesting fact. Uh, the, the last voice, uh, Wise Roy, Wise Roy, uh, there's a documentary on it. You can just go through it. We got to know that we will get our independence in the year 1945, early 1945. But we were not ready to take the handover, and that's why there was so much of problem. There was so much of delay. But I think in, even in 1947, we were not ready. We just took it uh, and we saw what happened. So yeah. So go through these things. It will just open your, you know, open your mind in terms of in respect to that what all happened. And once you start reading about it, you know, a lot of people say the freedom of freedom of speech, and the, they confuse freedom of speech with defamation. With when you start reading about it over here, you'll understand what was the purpose of freedom of speech and what is the purpose of defamation in its in its raw format. Okay, so please go through this now. <clears throat> For mood code resources, I will uh, bring this up later. If I forget, uh, someone should please remind me. I will talk about this later. OK, let's get to the search, the word search. Now, the basic, the basic of word search is like we do it on Google. We write one word, we get the judgment. We write three words, we get the results. We write 10 words, we get the results. Apply the same thing, but don't make it complicated when I say complicated. Don't write stories. Don't you should not write stories in SEC online. I'll give you an example. If you want a judgment, later judgment, you want latest judgment. Uh, on reservation. From. Supreme Court of India, right? That's the usual way we Type it on Google. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? Later judgment on reservation uh, from Supreme Court of India. And do a start search. Will we get results? Yes, we'll get the results. Will we get correct results? Let's see. So Supreme Court, Delhi, articles, everything is mixed. Later judgment, not really. So what is happening? No worries. We'll come to judgments over here. Let me just load up. Let me check my internet, which internet I am latched to on the fast internet. Okay, okay. Come on, load up. So once it loads up, I'll tell you, but over here, let's see there are three columns. One which gives you a bifurcation of the all the judgments which are available over here. All the documents rather. So it says digest note, judgments, bills, rules, articles, everything. So whatever that we searched in the browse part can be searched over here, which is on a topic, particular topic. Let me just go back and do it again. Exit pages. Very good. Do it again. Oh, let's do the search again. I can pick up my search from the, uh, the drop down and start search. OK, let's see if it loads up now. Otherwise, I'll try something else. OK, I think it's going to take some time. Let me just uh, get going with this. So I uh, will take another example too for this, but let's understand this. It's a judgment of 1300 bills in parliament, this and that. And then you come over here. It says Supreme Court J9. Right now, whenever we see a J, J means it's a full judgment, and nine means how many judges are part of the quorum. So it's a nine judges bench judgment. Now, if you see J1, J, as we all know, J means the judgment, and one means it's a single bench judgment. A is basically, basically articles and all the stuff. <clears throat> I'm 
Oh, this is this is weird. wrong today just give me a second I think I'll just uh, move to my different browser yes I think I know what's the problem. I am actually. Let's just see if it works over here. Search. Let's put the word and let's see if it works over here. If not, then something wrong with my personal internet. Perfect. So I think now I can just quickly something is probably some some browser issue over there. So we said latest judgment uh, on reservation from Supreme Court of India, right? and start search. Maybe this search has a problem. If, if it gets hanged again, maybe the search has a problem, then I will just try to fix it separately. But yes, uh, let's go and... Uh, hmm. So this search has some problem. So anyways, I think I, I will just give you this numbers. So see this, it says 1400 right now, and uh, otherwise we got some more results. So now I know the problem over here. So there's something really specific. Either this judgment is really, really long, and that's why it's taking a lot of time, which is a, can be a possibility because this judgment is of a uh, scholar versus Union of India, which is usually a very important judgment because it's a nine judges bench, so it would be a very, very important judgment. So I'm assuming this is a very long judgment, and that's why it's taking a lot of time for loading it up. And uh, I think I'm just going to go back. Now this all these you know technology or something is a teething issue that we have to go through. There we go, buddy. Start search. Yes. So let me get you the the actual way of doing a search. So you don't have to write the entire story because when you write the entire story of later judgment, Supreme Court of India, why is it not required? Because in the software itself, there's a, there's a feature, let's say reservation. We got around 1400 results over there. <clears throat> in the 1400 results, <clears throat> we had judgments, we have articles, we have so many things. But now if you see, there are 53,000 results on the reservation. And now the reason why I was saying that you should not write latest or uh, you know anything of, on those lines, latest or Supreme Court of India, is because when you click on judgments and it says Supreme Court, it takes you, gives you a cursor over here, which is only. So I can say only, and you will get only Supreme Court of India judgments. So we got two things, reservation and Supreme Court. Third thing we wanted was the latest. Is the latest the one, 1988, 1985? No. So I come to sort by and I come to chronological latest first. Let's start with this. We have 12th of this month judgment, 9th and 23rd of last month, 29th of last month judgments coming over here. So within no time, I got the latest judgment from Supreme Court of India in my place. Now let me uh, ask this question. Um, 
to all the students, anyone can uh, unmute themselves and answer this question. We talk about reservation. What do you think in which state the maximum number of reservation cases are being dealt? Which state has the highest number of cases on reservation? Give me your guesses. Anyone? It's just a guest. You can say anything. So maybe in the south, somewhere south. in yeah, Tamil Nadu or uh, Karnataka. I'm not okay. sure about it. Sir, Rajasthan. Rajasthan. And why would you say Rajasthan, by the way? Any any reason for that? So just a guess, sir. <laughs> like I said, it can be just a guess. So, so Maharashtra. Where? Sir, Uttar Pradesh. So Maharashtra. 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 Uh, Maharashtra. UP. Sir, Uttar okay. Pradesh. UP. Okay. That be or Allahabad. Yes. Okay. Now these are all guesses. Can we do a research on Google and figure it out which has the highest number of uh, you know uh, reservation cases? You might get a lot of results. You might get a lot of articles on it, but those are just articles, right? You cannot make, uh, you cannot even cite them. Now I'll give you one uh, idea of it. This is actually a, you know, I had a, I had a, I will not say an argument, but with a discussion in Dehradun with one of the law student. Uh, because I said I'm from Delhi and uh, he had a smile on his face. So I said, uh, what's what's so funny about it? He said, sir, uh, you know, Delhi is uh, so unsafe. You know, it's so unsafe for girls. You know, how do you live over there? And I was, I, 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 I just smiled at him. I like, you know, just because the media says that Delhi is the rape capital of India. You think that it is? You know, as a law student, and I'm sorry I'm taking this example, but as a law student, you know, we should not be going with, you know, we should not get colored by other people's opinion. We should always have our facts in place. You will be surprised that Punjab and Haryana has the highest number of rape cases in India. A lot of people will think Bihar. A lot of people will say that, you know, UP Bihar would have the highest number. No, PNH has the highest number. And then it has the other side as well. Maybe it has highest number, but people are vocal about it. People don't get suppressed. If something goes wrong with them, they go and report the cases. Probably other places, people don't even get the you know chance to report the cases. So as an advocate, it's very important. So let's get to the reservation wala, uh, thing. I click on high courts. Now see this. I get high court wise information. It says Allahabad has 2,557. Bombay is just uh, above that. Then uh, we said uh, Maharashtra, the Bombay is 2600, so uh, Bombay is going on the top. And then someone said uh, Karnataka. Karnataka is very less. And someone said Kerala, 2300, still less. Madras, yes, Madras has 3000, but now again, another side of it. Madras has 3000, maybe because Madras was the original high court. It, is, it has been there since 1862. Right, so the, the they are hundred years older than a lot of other judge, other courts. Let's go further down. Punjab Haryana twenty eight hundred. So Madras has the highest number of cases on reservation. Now this is not the exact number because no publisher will be publishing hundred percent of judgment, but at least you get a fair idea that in which country or uh, which state has the maximum number of cases being dealt on these lines. Okay. So that being said. Let's come to this one again. So remember we, we were searching for articles over here, browse articles. Now similar thing, uh, just like uh, mama, thank you. Uh, it says articles, so you can select the articles as well from here. So it's not that you stuck only with judgments. You can select as whatever you feel like in the research as well. So whatever that you browse can be searched alongside. Okay. So similarly, one thing that I really, really want to talk about, excuse me. <clears throat> one thing I really want to talk about is the digest notes. Now, if you see, this is a judgment, like I uh, mentioned, J means the full judgment. As a full judgment, you can start reading about it. Now, once you jump into it, you will see two. 
that only one name is in bold and the other name is not in bold. How what does this mean? This simply means that just his call name being in bold, that means he was the author of the judgment. And Justice uh, Bhos and Justice Murari were just the concurring judges. So you get to see if it's a one judge is by, uh, you know, one uh, judgment or there are a couple of more parts of the judgment. That's one. Second, you would not have the time to read the full judgment. As you go deeper and deeper in this profession, you will have very less time. Now, what do we do in that case? We come and take the help of this digest notes. So let's say digest notes only. Digest notes are the summary of the cases. These are head notes of the cases. Now let me show it to you. Now, if you see this one, it says Supreme Court D3. Three, we already know what it means. D means it's a digest note. Decision date, Constitution of India, preamble part three, along with Article 14, 15, and 17, along with 24, has been discussed in this case. Now, when talking about reservation, it's giving you one judgment, which is Prithvi Raj Chauhan, other cases, Dharmendra Prasad. Third one is Siddiqui, fourth one is Union of India and other, and so on and so forth. These are individual cases, but it is not giving you a full case. It is giving you the point of law that you have asked for. That is reservation. So in this case, it's talking about Constitution of India. Let's suppose I don't want to talk about Constitution. Of India, I want to talk about reservation in armed forces. So there it says the heading is armed forces. So I click on this. It says one rank, one pension entitlement, entitlement to respondents working in non-gadgeted post in Department of Post under Government of India, send on deputation to Army Postal Services and retiring from APS on attaining age of super, superannuation, entitled entitlement to OROP, if any. And then there's a small paragraphs and also tells you that this entire thing that you're reading is a summary from para 16, 19 and 20. Summary of those paragraphs. You go further down. This is a summary of para 18 and 19. Keep going down. You keep getting this information. The cases which were referred on this point of law have mentioned over here, and then you have the full citation of the case. So what is happening is that on that point of law, you go through. You have gone through the entire thing. You're not gone through the entire case. You don't have to go through the full judgment, but you've gone through the entire point. Then let's suppose I want to see reservation in respect to education law. So I see the heading. I come over and says employment and service matter or uh, educational institutions, reservation of seats. Now this is because you, most of you have just entered the uh, you know the the university. You would have heard about Delhi University <clears throat> having a reservation. You know other universities having a reservation for these many people. So you know sometimes you think that you know is there any something that I want to see judgments on. So. Depending on what's your interest, you can simply start reading about it. So these headings will help you and understand like SCST, which is the most common reservation, uh, you know, the discussion that we talk about that is coming over here. Once it loads up. There we have it. OK. You'll have something in respect to judiciary as well. Because I've, I've read this, I've done I've done a research on uh, reservation earlier as well, and there was something there was something been talked about in respect to judiciary as well that there is reservation in judiciary as well. Now I, I can't really find it out right now, but <clears throat> that is that is there for sure. So what is the, what is happening over here is you're not reading the full judgment, you're reading the head note, and you're getting the idea of what is being discussed and how it's been discussed. OK, so that is the reason why we always prefer you to go through the head note and then get to the judgment. Once you read this particular head note, you click on this citation, it will open the full judgment over here. Once you read the full judgment, if you think this is not relevant to you, <clears throat> you go back to your search. Your search is still there. OK. Now coming to the judgment part. Now in judgment, you will see the head notes. Dr. Uh, sorry, uh, Justice Arun Mishra, authoring judgment. Now, if I click on his name, I can jump straight away to the part of the judgment. If I click on back on his name, I'll go to the top. So sometimes you have more than one judges who are authoring a judgment. Then you can click on any other, anyone's name and you can jump over there. Let's go further down. What else we can do? Can we put, can we copy a particular paragraph? There are two ways to copy a particular paragraph uh, in any other judgment. One is highlighting it. There will be a few judgments which will let you highlight. 
So any judgment which let you highlight, you do a control C, control V by after highlighting. But there are judgments which have head notes which will not let you highlight any particular word on the page. Like this one. Then you have to click on this icon. You click on this icon once. OK, click on this again. Second paragraph four, three and sorry, five, three and four. Once you're done with this, you come over here. There's a feature of smart copy. Let me zoom it a bit. Smart copy feature. So you click on smart copy. All these paragraphs will be copied into a different window in the same sequence. One, two, five, three and four. And then also giving you the party name and the. The citation of the case which you would have manually written otherwise. So it has been given already for your reference and from here you can highlight as much as you want. Do a control C control B works. This is called smart copy and you can also email it to yourself or to anyone. That you want to share this. Let's suppose you are going in mood code competition and you're a researcher. You want to send it to your, you know, to your mooters you and give it to them. OK. That's a smart copy. Now, along with smart copy, there's another feature of print. There are two uh, options in print. One is TP, that is true print. Other one is a non true print. Non true print is not acceptable in the code, which is the internet printout. OK. This one is a true print, which is the exact photocopy of the law, law reports, the journals, that way it was published. So I. Let me just click on that. I clicked on it. It gives me the page range. So now see this is a long judgment, a couple of pages. Let's say I need only a couple of pages. So print. Start search. And now those of you who have seen the journals and how it is printed would agree with me that this is the exact format of what, what it was, what would have been in the law reports. But along with that, how many of you know the meaning of these? The alphabet written A, B, C, D till H. These are called placitums. P L A C I T U M. Placitums. This is for easy reference. Let's suppose you go to the code and you have not highlighted a particular area that you want to cite in the code. And you want to tell the judge now that's a uh, point number C, the second paragraph in point number C, and line number, let's say I'm assuming it's line number seven or seven, eight. Okay. So rather than you asking the judge, sir, that sir, Lordship, please uh, go to line number seven, judges would not like that. So the, the actual the professional way of doing it is you can say, sir, near plastum G, two lines above plastum G, it says, cylinders, in spite of development, they should not be left to die like this. So it's for easy reference. You can get it. So like you say, sir, line line next to uh, plastum D, it says procedure prescribed in section 18 is a procedure established by the law under Article 21 of the Constitution of India. So these are called plastum and you can use it as it well. And you, this cannot be edited. This cannot be, you know, uh, you cannot change, make any changes to this, which brings the value, which prevents the authenticity of the document in front when you go to the court. These judges are already using it, and when they see SEC Online logo over here, that's this one, they know that this is an authentic document. Okay. So that being said, let's get to our research. Back to our research. So we've done this, we've done this. Let's go back to search again and now. This is a one word search. If you're looking for uh, a sentences or a legal words, now legal words like public interest, public interest, strong litigation. Yep. Now, one way to do this search is you can write public interest litigation and get a start search. What will happen is it will if you do a search, it is a good search, but it will give you extra results. Let me show it to you. What's going to happen is going to do four searches. Public interest litigation as one word and public individually interest individually and same goes with the litigation. Which we don't want. We only want public interest litigation as coming as one word. So you'll see the difference of number 64,000 results have been found on PIL. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same search, pick up the same search and put double inverted commas around this. When you put double inverted quotes, this basically means that this particular 
word is need to be searched as one word. So you got 64,000, I believe, last time. Twenty thousand, so around forty-four thousand results have been excluded from your search, which were of no use. So this is a small, small, uh, you know, putting things will change your search to a diff take it take a search on a different level altogether. Okay, now let's suppose you want to make save these uh, documents in your search in your folders. So let's suppose this is an important folder. So I can click over here. Right, it says add to my SCC online folder. This one right over here. Okay, I click on this. It says corporate legal partners. So, no, that's not what we are talking to. Whom you are talking to, we're talking about PES University. So, let's say new folder. I create new folder on your with your university name. It's a PES Uni. Enter. Select folder and click on OK. Now, as you've done that, one folder is saved in your folder. Let's go further down. Let's take another one. PES by default. That's good enough. Let's take an article as well. So you can as you can add add whatever that you want to add, right? So let's say an article over here. Going forward, adding another article. Let's say and adding. So those things have been added now. How do we access this? I will talk in a minute. Before that. We are search for public interest litigation, right? Now I want to be specific to public interest litigation in respect to what? Let's say I want to talk about all the PILs in respect to human rights. So there's a sub search over here. I'll do human rights. So whatever that you want to search, you can break your searches in two parts. It's much easier because if you search for public interest litigation, double quote space human rights in the first place, your state may given you this results, 22500. However, by uh, breaking into two pieces in two parts is will help me. Why? I can cross it out. So I got human rights, but now I want to see human rights. Now, apart from human rights, I want to see national parks. National parks. So what is happening is you can can go back and forth with this search. Uh, 294 results and any you can do six sub searches like this. So my I would suggest you do this. Let's go back to word search or let's come back to word search in a bit. Let's go further down words and phrases. <clears throat> these are the uh, these are this is an online dictionary for you. So you want to you know find a meaning of a particular word. Just write that one. Let's say goodwill. Yep, search. So you get the meaning of goodwill right over here. You see this? The first definition is ending over here. That is coming from a judgment, CIT versus um, some SETI. The second definition is also coming from a particular case. That is uh, Kambata versus CEPT. The third is coming from, again, a particular case. Fourth is coming from. It is coming from fourth. It's a long one. Fourth one is a long one. So yeah, there it is. It says what? So what? So there'll be uh, definition coming from judgments in any way that the judges have mentioned a particular, you know, uh, meaning. A particular meaning has been a uh, uh, particular word has been defined. Or the what, which is a water dictionary of law, which is a legal dictionary that we use. So they'll get it from there as well. Moving forward, uh, GST rate finder, you'll not have it in your uh, thing, so I'll not talk about it. Find by topic is something similar to word search, so we'll probably keep it for the next time. Find by party name. Let's go with this one. Now, if you want to figure it out if a judgment is old or not, what do you do? You open the judgment. Now, in open a judgment with the party name, you have two options. One with the court name and then put the party name over there. But sometimes you don't remember the party names. You remember the media name. You know you're there now. Hello. I think someone might uh, is uh, unmuted and uh, I think we are getting all uh, 
you know, excited while listening to that suspense music. The movie is going in the background. So, but yeah, search by famous case name. So, in case you have a media names like a recent case, Sabri Mala, right? So you just write Sabri Mala over here, and it'll get the it'll decode the party name for you. Now it says Sabri Mala in the search. You might be thinking that. So let me remove this. Let's say. Uh, Triple talaq. So it will automatically decode triple talaq for you. So there we have it. Shaira Banu versus this. Click on this, it will open the full judgment for you. Let's come to this one. All judicial. Write the party name, whatever you have. Let's say I have uh, Golaknath. Now all we everyone knows that Golaknath is the overall judgment. You said go you said Golak. And we got 66 results because I said all jurisdiction. <laughs> Excuse me. Now it says Golak. I got all judgment has Golak now. Golak as a name in it. The second party name I remember was uh, Punjab. Right? Just write Punjab. Don't write verses. Don't write anything apart uh, like like that. It will not make sense. Just don't write verses because if you write verses in between, it will not give you any search. So double click on this and you will get your judgment. Now once you get the judgment, the point is how can I figure out if judgment is overruled or not? Now the overruling part, everyone is doing a very good job. Google is doing a very good job. Uh, India Ganon is actually you know sometimes write it uh, on the on the judgment itself. The judgment is overruled. Everyone is giving you that judgment is overruled on the top of the judgment. Which means that every one of us thinks that oh the judgment is overruled, I should not even look at it. The point is that judgment is never overruled. It's only the points of law which gets overruled. Okay. Now the point is that who will tell you which point is overruled? Now look at this. It says one judgment, 120 law points. That means 120 points of law which were discussed in this one judgment. Okay. So the point is, sorry, <clears throat> the point is that 120 points were discussed. Now, what are the points that discussed? Interpretation of statutes, words and phrases, Constitution of India, words and phrases, words and phrases about meaning of declared, meaning of amend, Article 141, meaning of state. All that is given over here. So, without you reading the full judgment, you can read from here. And now, to figure out which point is overruled, come to sub search. This should be your first thing. Start search. Any point of law which will be overruled in this judgment will be stacked over here. Now see it says J11. So this is not has a destination mark. Whenever you see the red destination mark, this means this point has of the law has been overruled. So this is what overruled, this overruled, this overruled. This one is not overruled. Because this doesn't have a red destination mark. So out of 15, probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 are overruled. And now if you want to see where it was overruled, I click on this. And it tells me it was overruled in Kesan and the Bharti versus State of Kerala, 1973, 4 SEC, 225. But again, our, even after getting overruled, it was again uh, held overruled in some other case, which was not supposed to happen, but it happened over here. And now look at this. This is a very beautiful part which will help you in the long run. Like I said in starting, anyone name which is in bold, that means he or she has authored a judgment. Now, Chief Justice Rao has number one. Justice, Rai, Justice Banchu has number two. Justice Raitullah had number three. Chavat number four. Ramaswamy sir has number five. This is a sequence that who gave the judgment first, who gave the second judgment, and so on and so forth. And the remaining are not in bold. But if you see that they are repeating the numbers, supercept numbers. This is Shah, this is Sikri, this is Selat, this is Vidai Lingam. Have 111. One, one. That means they all of them are concurring with Justice, Chief Justice, Justice Subharao. And then Justice Mittar and Justice Bhargava are concurring with Justice Wanchu. They have the same number. Justice Rayatullah, Justice Ramaswamy, and Justice Bachavat has no support from the bench. This is something that you will take a lot of time. To read the full judgment and then figure it out who is concurring with whom after reading the full judgment. You're giving it in one place. And you can cross it out, you can go back to your original judgment. So this is the main way of searching a overall judgment on any point of law. Okay. Let's come. 
let's come to the next search. Find by citation is very simple. You have a citation with you. You pick up a citation. You put the citation words in one, uh, you know, like pick up a journal, any journal for that matter. Uh, Indian or P Indian appeals, you know, AILR, uh, AIR, whatever that you have it, put it off. Let's say 20 or 20110, uh, page one, search. You'll get the judgment. So basically what we're saying is we have a tied, we have tied up with a lot of journals, but it doesn't mean that if you're giving you AIR, AIR will give you the judgment of AIR. We don't have a tie up with AIR. We have tie up with ILRs, all the, the high court publication uh, unit. We have the tie up with them. We have their original prints, but for AIR, we're just giving you the equivalent citation. Same is for AIC. Criminal law journal, we have it. We have a tie up with. So you get the citation. You'll get any citation uh, on SCC online. You'll get the judgment. But you'll not get their printouts. You'll get SEC online printouts as it was printed in the law reports of SEC. OK, and all this at the same time, look at this. While you're reading this head note, it also tells you that there are so many cases. Ramesh was the state of Rajasthan, which was relied on in this case. This Raghu, uh, Radhu was the state of MP was distinguished and it this particular case was followed in this many things. So what is happening is you're reading one case that is uh, Vahid Khan was the state of MP, but you're also getting to know the similar cases which were cited in this in this in your case that is Wahid Khan and the case of Wahid Khan which was uh, cited in as a precedent in the future cases so you're getting the backward referencing and the future referencing at the same place okay moving to the, uh, the last one find case law by section this is a very simple thing uh, if you want a judgment on a particular section judgments on a particular section of an act search over here don't write if you're looking for contract act. So don't write Indian contract act. Don't write Indian evidence act. Just write evidence act. Just write contract act. Just write penal code. Don't write the word Indian. We've taken the word Indian from it. So let me take a, a negotiable instrument act. 138 everyone knows. Check bouncing. So let me take this. So first you have to write the act and then you write. Click on the, the particular thing. The section number double click on this and you will have the full judgment. All the judgments on section 138 in front of you. There we have it, section 138 in front of you right now. Okay. Are we guys ready for the question answer round? So yes, sir. The, the yes, gift sir. is the gift is with the uh, lying with the library, uh, the library in charge, sir. Uh, sir has a, a you know t-shirt that he showed me yesterday and he said that uh, we would like to give it to anyone who can give the right answer uh so okay uh, just one more thing i think before i we forget we didn't uh, talk about the sentence one i'll just give you one example and then we move to the question answer now in the question answer there will be a certain uh, you know uh, you know criteria that we have to follow so we will follow that and then we can uh, decide on the winner before that one more question if there's a sentence that you have in your mind Right, like there's one very common statement that we have in our uh, fraternity. Lawyers are the officers of the court. How many times have you heard this? I've heard it a lot many times, right? but it can be said in different ways. Lawyers are the officers of the court, or it can be considered as officers of the court, or should act as the officer of the court or something else i think so but, but we got the point there, there can be different different ways to say a particular statement so again the same thing what i said in the starting about reservation example don't write everything down pick up the main main words main words which without which this sentence will not make any sense don't pick up the verbs and the conjunctions that's not required so in this i'll say lawyers Officers and court. Now, see if I'm writing this, it says my software is giving me some suggestion. Do you want to say lawyers or advocates near officer near court? Now, what does this uh, near means? Let me uh, take care of this first. Now, let me un let me make you understand what is this. 
Now it says if you search for lawyer officer code as three words, it'll come anywhere. It'll come in one document, but it come in my V. Lawyer coming in first paragraph, officer coming in last paragraph, and code coming in between. I want this to be a pair next to each other. So you write lawyers near. Near is basically what it does. Bring people. Bring. You know, it is like Indian railways. It brings people together. This is this word brings words together. So it says near means near means 10 words range. You can increase it. You can increase it to 20 or you can decrease it to one or two as well. By default, it's 10. So you write lawyers near officer near court and click on Boolean. Boolean is very important. If you don't click on Boolean, it will search for the word near as well as an English word. So if you're looking for judgment, so let's say on compensation arising out of you know a motor accident. So just write compensation near in capital motor accident and see it. There you have it. Lawyers are the office of the court. So this is the most easiest method of doing it. I'll give one more example of this. There is a statement that we have heard a long time back. The statement was a monkey does not decide in a favor of the forest. This was the statement. Now the same thing will apply. Decide is very common, so I'll remove this. And as you come over here, it will start giving suggestions as well. That you know you should want to read this, you want to write this and all. So you can do that. So near this, near that. And Boolean starts searching. In the in the humongous data of so many judgments, so many documents, it'll just give you the point of law within less than a few seconds. Depending on your internet speed. Which I think yeah, it is. A monkey does not decide in a fear of the fall. The reason I didn't put double quotes because it could have been a monkey cannot decide. So I was not really sure about that. So if you put double quotes saying monkey does not decide in a fear of the forest, you'll get the result. But if it had been a monkey cannot decide, then you would have got no results. So that's what near feature works. You can also find judgments on a particular section from here as well. With the same near feature, we search for negotiable instrument act. You can just write the same thing negotiable, near. Don't write section and all. Just write negotiable 138. Boolean start search. If you're looking for IPC 302, just write IPC 302. Contract Act, Contract Act, double quotes, near 17. CPC Order 7, Rule 11. CPC near 11, 7, near 11. Don't write section, don't write all this stuff. It'll be good. And now we got negotiable near 138. If I want to see some you know some other act as well being discussed in this judgment in this entire thing. Let's say penal near 420. Start search. It'll give me both the judgment, both the acts being discussed in one judgment. There it is. There we can see it. There it is. 420 of IPC and 138 of negotiation black. Now this brings us to the question answer round. And now let's have a few uh, you know checks how we're going to be going through this. Let me bring back this uh, page. So how many students do we have right now? So we have. 85. There's this feature of raising hand. OK. Now. Tell me quickly. Oh, first of all, um, do we we don't have access to SEC online right now, do we? So I can't give you research. I can't give you research, so which means I have to give you something else. Um, sir, ma'am, could you please help me understand? Uh, do we have access to SCC online or we don't have access to SCC online right now? Can student access SCC online? Can uh, someone help me with this? Hello. OK, I'll quickly ask a question then. Uh, I can't ask you to do a research because uh, I'm assuming that you don't have access to SSC online for now. So this is a raise, this is a uh, raise hand thing. So if you click on raise hand, I will get this icon over here on my right side screen. So once I ask a question, yeah, there it is. So Chiranjit, do you want to say something or are you just testing your uh, raising hand? Chiranjit, uh, could you do you have any something to yeah, say? I mean, okay. it's, 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 
Okay, let me have a simple question that uh, I had laid my emphasis, a lot of emphasis on. Anyone who knows the answer have to raise their hand first. Anyone here, their hand gets raised first, it'll come on the top. I'll call your name. You have to answer it. If not, then we go to the next person. The question is, we talked about the Constitutional Assembly debates, right? On which date Constitutional Assembly debate, uh, Constitutional Assembly were, had started? Hasha, Hasha, go for it. That was really fast. Hasha, please unmute yourself. Sir, December 9th. December? Hasha, please uh, tell me the exact, the full date. December what? 9th, sir. 9th of December, which year? Sir, 1946. 1946. OK, so we have got so many answers, but I think I'll give it to Harsha right now. It was quick and fast, so I wish I could give you, uh, you know, more research oriented. This is a very, very small thing, but thank you uh, everyone for this. Uh, I'm sure a library in charge is taking uh, note of this. Now let's get into the question answer round. Is there any question that I may be able to answer? Anything that I couldn't really uh, cover it up, anything that you would like to, you know, ask in specific that I had this research I wanted to talk about. Anything that you would like to ask? You can unmute yourself. You can, uh, uh, anyone? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Kiran. Yeah, uh, so my doubt is I've heard that lawyers need to have a lot of uh, detachment from their uh, emotional detachment from their clients. So is that true and how does that actually work and how is it possible? Uh, see, I think uh, that is uh, that is set from a different angle altogether. I think uh, you personally, I think that you should have emotional attachment uh, to your uh, client because you have you are dealing with a person on a on a you're dealing with a human being, right? Unless until you give that comfort to that client, the client would there has to be a lot of trust between you and your client. And for that matter, you have to get engaged. This thing is not true, however, if you are a judge. So, you know, when they say uh, for the advocates, I always have this. I, I think I have this conversation about a lot of people with this, that people said that you should not have engagement. I think you should have engagement to a certain level, professional level, that the person tells you things. But however, if it's a judge, a judge cannot have an attachment with anyone. Then it makes a lot of sense because his decision can be biased towards that person. Like suppose that like, I know everyone. I think everyone in uh, all judges in Karnataka. I know all judges in Maharashtra. I know all judges in you know various states. We have been taking online webinars since the lockdown, and I've traveled so much, uh, you know, in past nine years that I know almost everyone in the, at least the district court level. Now, if I go and appear before the court, they will be biased to me. You know, even if they don't want to be, they know me very well. They know me how I am. If someone says that Chetan did something like this, which they think that it's not true, they will be biased. They will try to help me out. So I think, uh, 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 Kirun, personally, it's a personal choice. You cannot be, you know, you cannot be uh, drawing lines with everyone that this is how it's going to be. You have to be professional. And professional should also have the human touch to it. I hope that uh, that's my opinion. That's my personal yes, opinion about it. Yeah. Yes. I like the questions that you know that uh, that are coming over here. You know, I think a um, lot of university students are now nowadays are not into this these aspects. You know, right now you're all already thinking that if you go into the field, what will you do? I think this is a very good mindset that you have. So um. good job. Hi, sir. I actually wanted to ask a question. Uh, yeah. I'm Kritika. Hi, Yeah, so um, basically, I just wanted to know, like, you know, um, how we like put age as a major thing for like crimes. Don't you, don't you think like um, it should be like the intensity of the crime more than like the age? Are we talking about the juvenile cases? Yeah, or yeah. Uh, see, uh, first of all, 
this is actually off the topic. I'm here for the legal research, uh, but uh, as a question has been asked. Yeah, I'm, but I just want you to know like yeah. your view on it, because like, you know, this is one question which has always been on my mind and like nobody has like been able to give like a proper answer to it. See, I think we are still uh, and I think uh, this this uh, video is getting recorded, so I should uh, say it very, very uh, clearly. This is this should be off the record. And this is my personal opinion. Um, we are still in the in an old era when we used to think uh, that you know a 14 year old kid is still a kid, a 15 year old is still a kid. Times have changed. The exposure has increased, and people have now information on to that level that we didn't have when we were you know when I was probably 2021 I didn't have that much of information I didn't have any information about law or you know, what was being talked about in in such depth but now things have changed so people have also get people also get mature very very at a very early early age a 13 year old doesn't look like a 13 year old he doesn't talk like 13 year old so I think there uh, there's already been talks about it. There, uh, the Law Commission of India is already uh, you know working on this. Earlier, uh, you know what happened. What happened in Nirbeha case? Things changed to an extent, and uh, the you know the the age was brought down. But I think it is uh, it is also cannot be you know like I said uh, to uh, Kiran uh, that you cannot put everyone in the same radar. So as a as a institute, as a as a country, you know, as a uh, we have to think of welfare of everyone together. I I'll give you I'll cite a case to you right now, and this is something personal. I want to share it. Uh, there's a friend of mine. Uh, she lost her husband uh, uh, in the month of August, uh, you know, this year. They were they, uh, this incident happened in. Uh, you know, Gurgaon, early morning in the you know, wee hours of Gurgaon. There were two bikers on Harley Davidson. They were coming uh, back, for, they were crossing Cyber Hub, that's part of Gurgaon. They were coming back to the house. And uh, on the other side, there was a uh, there was a car which was coming at 150 kilometers per hour, lost control, jumped, uh, you know, like uh, hit the divider, toppled over a couple of times and, and, and hit the the biker bang head on. The biker died on the spot. The drivers with the driver uh, who was driving this car was 16 year old, I think 17 year old, a juvenile, who was drunk, who was partying throughout the night, and he was drunk. So I understand your uh, question because I have gone on roads protesting. Uh, in front of Gurgaon police, and now finally the FIR has been done. I think, you know what? In the juvenile, they say that is something uh, like in this uh, in this accident. The law says that if the juvenile is uh, has done something like this uh, accident or something, and someone dies, the parents are to be held. And the, in this case, parents were free, and the kid was not. The case was not even uh, filed, and everything was being done. Uh, apparently, the father is uh, you know, a pilot in Air India. I think what the point is not that you know the juveniles should be done or not. I think what we can do. Let's talk about what we can do. It's about you know making sure that the justice is delivered in time and it's effective. Even if someone is 16 years old and the person is sent to juvenile board. You know, for a juvenile, you know, correction home and all stuff, there should be factors which should, you know, take care of him that what he has done is wrong. Because you should always give that person a, you know, that though he has done something, you don't know the background of that person. See, again, the same thing. You cannot put everyone in the same radar. So I think looking at that, there should be change, but I think rather than bringing a change of the years, I think I I would my personal opinion would be that bringing in more effectiveness in what we already have. If once that works out, I think people would be scared. Yeah, Kritika, but Kritika, I like your uh, I like your uh, profile picture. Thank you, sir. Okay, any other questions? I think of someone uh, saying something. Uh, Subhash. Sir. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, I think if someone question can take up, then we'll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I said, okay. Oh, sorry, sir. that was you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyone? Any question? Sir, Chidan ji, I, I have, have question. Question. one more question. Okay. Uh, let's uh, ask uh, Kiran. Uh, I think let's uh, let other person have a question, and then we come back to you. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So who was that? Who was asking the question? So, uh, Chidan ji, sir. Chidan ji, yes, Chidan ji, go ahead. Sir, I just wanted to know your opinion on uh, the corruption in the judicial system because we've always heard stories about the corruption which exists, but no one actually talks about it. So, what are you your views on it? <laughs> okay, let me just put this to end. Okay, we are not here for this discussion. Okay, uh, I would love to talk to you about these things, but I think uh, let's focus our uh, questions only and only to legal research on SEC for now, because. Uh, I know that you have this all this question, but I understand my opinions will not matter right now. OK, so let's focus on energy only on legal research. I would be coming to a university for sure. We can sit down. We can have a, another half an hour, 45 minutes. And I, I'm giving you I'm, I'm promising you this. Subhash sir knows me and he has my number. I would be coming. I was supposed to actually come to your university for the session, but whatever that situation that you all know that we are in, uh, I couldn't really come. So we'll keep, we'll keep it like personal. We not uh, talk, uh, you know, uh, online, especially when it's getting recorded. Okay, so let's let's keep it that way. Uh, Chiranji, so I'll keep it like that. Yeah. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any other question? Kiran, do you have a question in pertaining to the yes, or something uh, in general? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it is pertaining to uh, re legal research or general. So okay, go ahead. I'll just ask it and yeah. So, sir, uh, there's a lot of uh, problem in actually clearing the cases in India. Yes. Uh, so, for example, you, as you told, there are almost uh, say 1.5 lakhs uh, number of uh, advocates graduating every year. Yeah. And the, the total number of people graduating from uh, even uh, as a magistrate, even to the level of a magistrate, there are a lot of people actually getting graduated. Then why is it that there is still a lot of pending cases? Actually, you know, in the sense, only the cases that create a social boom, for example, yes, yes, Nirbhaya, so that creates a social boom. So where it attracts the general public's attention. So for example, if there's a, uh, if there's, uh, a minor case, for example, where a poor has lost his land against, a, say, for a landlord, so yes. and there the poor's life is at stake and our legal system is actually i'll give you something you know, i think uh, we uh, I, yeah i think uh, you know i'll answer this with a uh, bit facts uh, can we just okay. mute our mic i think there's some uh, i think i'm getting an echo of my I'm getting a, you know uh, mic feedback uh, okay so i'll answer this with a uh, with see, I can talk uh, in the air, but I think uh, because we are all, uh, you know, uh, a part of law and uh, we should be talking about facts. That's what I said in the in my session. So I'll go with the facts. Uh, this misconception of that uh, the the justice is being delayed. There's not a lot of justice and everything, and the dependency and the latency is so much. And even though we have so many people coming in, it's a valid query. It's a valid, very, very valid concern. Not even query. It's a concern. Let me give you something which I am not really sure of how many of you know about this. This is called National Judicial Data Grid. It's a, a clear, you know, report card of all the courts, district court level and the high court level. Let's look at this. You can pick up a state, okay? Any state that you would like. Let's say I'm I'm in Delhi, so let me take Delhi. Okay. I get all the Delhi cases. Total civil pending cases right now is around uh, two lakh. Okay. Total criminal pending is around six uh, six lakh ninety five thousand. Total pending cases collab uh, made together is this much. Now we cannot uh, put a control on how many cases are getting admitted. We can only do is how many. Uh, what is the you know uh, resolution of these cases? What is the rate of you know, putting solution or putting end to these cases. Now see this zero to one uh, year old cases are these many, which is a constituting of 49% of the total cases. The recent case, the 50% is actually the recent cases. 
तो विच ईयर अर्लियर दैट यूज टू सेट दस साल लग जाते हैं बीस साल लग जाते हैं केसेस के लिए लुक एट दिस नाउ थिंग्स हैव चेंज्ड माय फ्रेंड फाइव टेन ईयर केसेस आर ओनली सेवन परसेंट नाउ टेन टू ट्वेल्व केसेस आर ओनली जीरो पॉइंट सेवन टू परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी ईयर केसेज आर ओनली जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री परसेंट इफ यू लुक एट वन फोर्टी सेवन एंड यू लुक एट दिस टोटल नंबर वन फोर्टी सेवन इज नथिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट and this is something that i'm the reason i'm showing it to you you cannot have zero in above 30 or 20 30 years over here in flick of a finger i've been doing this national digital data grid uh, was made i think 4 uh, years old it's it's, it's three three year four years old this website was made and this was made by nic i know this because uh, i uh, because we are working with judiciary and all the stuff so we knew that okay there's something is being built up and all stuff but now if you see in the total uh, you know uh, after probably after a month after you know year on year you'll see this number will keep on decreasing this number is actually decreasing at, to a very large extent and if you see you want to see the entire india let's see the entire india i think we can see the entire india as well yeah this is the entire india so now if you see this about the more than 30 years there are only 33000 results 30 33000 cases which are pending from civil matter total 85000 you know the thing is that you know we don't know the actual you know the work that is happening in the fraternity i know it because i've been working very closely with the judges and uh, i've been with in lot of projects that have been working with maharashtra and karnataka and then uh, recently you are working with assam as well and bihar as well and there is so much that is the efforts have been put in that you know everyone has now uh, the magistrates and everyone they have a report if they do not give the if the cases are being pending for a more than let's say x number of uh, time or x number of period they are asked to give a you know answer to their district judges that why this is not being uh, done and same report has been asked by the the high court the high court judges by by the to the to the district court judges that why this is so much a pendency and now everyone has a report over here and this the best part of this is if i click on any of this i can get to see in 1951 there's one judgment from 1951 1952 there are four judgments the major is 58 if i go further down second third i'll get to see it and if i click on this i'll also get to see the case this uh, the red petition number everything i'll get to see it it's a hugli case civil judge senior division hugli so this is the work that they are doing they have now made things so transparent that judges would not shy away from their duty but like i said uh you know there was a there was a period there was a period wherein uh, people used to think people used to say that kuch nahi mila to law kar liya you know which used to simply translate to that law used to be your last resort if people were going with that mindset i'm sorry things were different there were hardly any universities there were handful of universities back in those uh, i think 10 years back you see I've seen a, such a boom in the fraternity in, in the law universities that because now they are actual good universities people are actually taking law as their first choice because they want to do something talk about yourself why have you taken law is it because you couldn't get engineering you could get uh, medical and that's why you came into law no all of you were sitting over here all of you were asking question the question that you are asking is because you're concerned about these things right the question which was asked about uh, by kritika was not about herself she was talking about something that you know she's concerned about and probably that's the reason she wants to come in and bring out a change so i think you know things are changing <laughs> there are we have done we did we have done this uh, you know math we done this maths a uh, couple of uh, you know years back that how many judges sit in the high court how many judges sit in district court and uh, how many judges sit in the supreme court and how many, what are the number of days that they have to work they work for minimum number of days the like supreme court has a different one high court and district court has a different different uh, number of years that they are a number of days that you have to come to the court 
And then we said, you know, on average, how many judgments comes? Like one judgment would come at least in district court. One or two judgments will come, including the orders and everything. And we did the, the, you know, the total of it, and the number was coming out one crore, including, you know, if you combine all the district courts, all the high courts and Supreme Court of India, one crore judgments are de are being declared, are being decided on a daily basis, on a on a yearly basis. But it's like यहाँ से चीजें आ रही हैं और यहाँ से निकल रही हैं तो निकलने का जो output है वो थोड़ा थोड़ा धीरे है वो निकल रही है कोशिश कर रही है निकलने की but यहाँ से input आ ही जा रहा है so I think that's it's also our lawyers work is also to you know to ensure I'll tell you one thing it's not about the judges all the time let me say it now I was trying to avoid this for a long time but let me say it it's it's a lawyers problem Judges want to work, but advocates want to make money. And the traditional way of making money for the advocates is always, and it's not for everyone. It's always, uh, it's, it's for most of them is, jitni hearings aayengi, utre paise mein lunga. Jitna lamba case chalega, mein utna lamba lunga. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share a, a personal example. I had, I had a, my friend had a case which was going for four years. A simple dispute about property. It was his property. The documents were like forged by someone and all the stuff. The advocate kept going for that, you know, case for four years. Kept going, kept going, kept going. And this guy had enough. He was not in Delhi. He was in Bombay, so he used to travel every time for this case. He changed. He uh, his uh, his uh, friend graduated from NLU. He requested him to fight his case, and this guy was practicing from like a couple of years, so he had his experience. He went to the court. He and the other party, he just, other party said, so no, no, so this is problem. You know, we'll take a next uh, next judgment, next hearing and all stuff. The simple the guy simply said, sir, why there's a next judgment? Why can you decide on this? And you would not believe in two hearings the case was completed. So it is also about the advocates, lawyers, officers of court. So the judges and the lawyers have to work together. So I hope that uh, answers your question. Yes, sir. Sir, thank you very much. Thank I think so we much. had uh, two more than two of our long session. Uh, yes. The students, if you have any questions, tomorrow we are going to share you the video as well as email ID of uh, Mr. Chetan Singh uh, Gill. So if you have questions, I hope I think uh, he will answer over the email itself. I will. I will share my email address right away because uh, yes, you know uh, it's uh, learning at the rate sccaonline.com. This is. Uh, this is the ID for me and for my team as well. So anyone who feels, you know, have any query, you can write it down over here. So even if I'm not available, my team member would be available and they will be able to answer the query. Okay. So thank Thanks you so lot, much. Sir. Thank you so much. I think uh, I had a very good start of the day. I have another session in uh, exactly one and a half hour from now with uh, NLU Jodhpur. Uh, very good session. And uh, I wish you all the best. And uh, I, I think I would love. And I'm looking forward to come to your university because of uh, the excitement you have. Thank you so much. You yeah, all have a good day, and wish you all the Thank best. You, See you in the profession very, very soon, and with the right knowledge. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Doctor Reddy, uh, thank you so much for thank your. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So. We'll end this call now, sir? Yes, sir. So, thank you. Take care.